Anyways, y'all, I'm in my mama's house right now. I'm in my mama's house right now. My crib is like, my crib is about 10 minutes away from my mom's house. But I'm staying in my mom's house because my daughter's sick. My daughter's sick. And then my cousin that helps me take care of the kids, she's sick as well. So she's at my aunt's house, at my, my mom's house. She's getting better over there. Of course, just getting better over here. And um, I'm really happy that I'm with my mom too because I've been needing like a lot of like, I just been needing like a lot of comfort. Y'all know I haven't been home for like three months. I haven't been in New York for three months. A lot of people have been asking me to go out. I might go out. I might not. Um, I have a lot of work to do. I have a very tight schedule this month. Like I have a lot of deadlines. The deadlines are this month. So it's just like, oh, okay. And um, yeah, I just been feeling so, I've been feeling real so, so lately. I've been feeling so, so lately. Like, the last time I ever, last time I ever had this feeling that I have right now, I was about 24 years old. And I had these type of feelings before. To me, it's just crazy for me to be almost 32, mm -hmm. I'm 31, to have these type of feelings again. But just like a lot of emotions right now. I've been dealing with a, in a, in a very emotional boat. But I don't know if... Uh, and this crazy, right? No, I usually ask God for a sign. I haven't asked God for a sign. But let me tell you something. So this was mad random yesterday. It had me in tears. Because, you know, Prima Donna? Me and Prima Donna have been following each other for a hot minute right now. But we don't really be talking to each other on the DMs. I really don't be talking to her, like, practically at all. Last time I saw her was, like, at the Diamond Ball a couple of years ago. And she DM'd me like this big chunky paragraph, like that she that she sees a lot of blessings coming my way, that all the answers that I've been looking for are gonna be answered. That like she could just tell that my spirit been a little bit troubled, which is crazy because somebody that don't really know me like that could see that like my I'm just a little bit everywhere right now. And sometimes, you know, like when you be like asking, like when like God send you a sign. Sometimes you think that it's like a, a Bible is going to fall on your hand or like something good is just going to happen out of nowhere. But sometimes God send you messages through, um, through like the most random people, you know what I'm saying? Or like somebody could be walking past or somebody that you barely talk to. They just might send you something so beautiful like yesterday. And it just, it just, it showed me that it's like God been listening to me. But yeah, I just been like adapting to, uh. My new life, my new personal life. And it's just been a little bit difficult for me. But it's like, you know what? It's been difficult for me, for me, especially because, like, you know, like, I have a lot of work to do and everything. But so far, so good. It's not, I'm not in a bad space. I'm not in a bad space. I don't want y'all to think I'm in a bad space. I'm just, like, in a, in a very different space, in a very tight-knit space. 2024 is yours. It's not really much of 2024. It's just like a... Of, I'm in a very different space right now. I'm in a very different space right now in life. And it feels very foreign to me. It feels very foreign but familiar. Because I have been in this space before. You know like when you just like. I know how to explain it. I'm going to tell you like. I'm going to tell you like this right. From 19 to 22. I was very alone. I was very alone. It's not that I cut off my friends. I didn't cut off my friends. I just like distanced myself from everybody and just focus on my on my work. And this time around in life, I feel like I'm in that a space again where I have like completely distanced myself from people and just like Oh, I pickles. Sorry. Excuse me. Um, that's where I'm at right now, where I have, like, practically have distanced myself from somebody, and, like, God opened my eyes from a lot of people that was just around me, and it's just, like, I'm just, like, trying to adapt to, like, to the, to, to this, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to adapt to it, so, it's been like that for, it's, like, been a sweep, it's been a sweep.
What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn from Kenya, East of Africa and guys, I'm hoping you all are doing great and keeping safe from wherever part of the world that you're watching me from. Anyway, straight into today's commentary, guys. That was Mrs. Caribe. And you all know that Mrs. Caribe, few uh, weeks ago, she announced to the world that, you know, she and Offset are... Uh, when they're separate ways and they are no longer dating and that she's no longer in a relationship with mr offset and something that really bothered a lot of people is that mrs caribe it looked like it was disturbing mrs caribe a lot and a lot of us could tell that everything is not right with her now uh caribe i, I think on this video she was just giving an update on, on what has been happening in her life. And on this particular video, Mrs. Karibi was just saying that um, she that uh, culture her daughter is sick and uh, the person the, her cousin who take care of the babies is also sick. So she's just at her mom's house and she also said that, you know, uh, she feels uh, also nice being at her mom's house because she has been lonely guys you all know that a breakup is not easy a breakup like look at cardi b and offset they are a perfect couple a lot of people looked up to them you know they were two successful individuals and cardi b loved offset a lot we all know that she could forgive offset she did everything for that relationship or else marriage to work but it seems it just didn't work so uh could be even say that she's in that she's is she's in a season that she was in when she was 19 to 22 years old and i guess that is when she was single and she said that in as much as she's 31 turning 32 she feels like she's in that season and she said that she's taking this personal journey alone because she re she realized that her life was not just uh maybe going how she wanted maybe she just realized that she wasn't happy and all that stuff so um can it be if we can all see that you know she is not okay but we know she will be maybe it's just the breakup but you all know that after the breakup mrs caribe will be great and we hope and pray to god so that he can help him so that uh he can help her overcome everything that she's going through because guys it is, seems like it's not easy at all for her now you all know that they share beautiful babies with mr offset and in as much as maybe they did part ways those kids will always want them to be there for them and they have to co-parent so I just don't know, but I wish them well. Mrs. Karib even say that, you know, she's friends with Madonna, but they don't like really talk. But just out of nowhere, uh, Madonna texted her, DM'd her, told her that she knows that her spirit has been troubled or something like that. But, uh, you know, Madonna just encouraged her and all that stuff. And Karibi said that that left her, you know, uh, teary because you know she felt like somebody uh knew what she was going through and that somebody is looking out for her i don't know what you all think also about that because sometimes uh the people who know we are troubled but they just can't tell but with god he just brings people in your life who can just be there for you and talk to you so Cardi B said a lot of things on this live you know just about her journey that she's taking just about her you know uh realizing that there are people in her life that she needed to maybe cut off and all that stuff and uh, we all know that uh mr offset is one of them because Cardi had announced just like i said at the start that they have broken up and we all know that mr offset have been doing a lot of things like look at his tour he it's doing so 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 well like these guys are just doing well in life but maybe they just decided to part ways for their happiness and we just never know all we can do is pray for them again just like i said because we all know that mrs Cardi b has gone through it with Mr. Offset. We all know that Cardi Offset has cheated on Cardi. We all know that Offset has humiliated Cardi. Cardi is a beautiful woman. She's a successful woman. She could get any man she wants, but uh, she has never done that because she really loved 
offset a lot like they literally started from scratch with each other so it's not easy but mrs cardi b just in case you come across this video we love you and we cherish you and you'll get through this that's all for now guys i love teaching more news